I searched Etsy for days going through hundreds of pages to find the best 3D printed products to sell and the results were, well, interesting to say the least. With so many products to choose from, I sorted them into categories based on their niche and used my favorite product research tool to determine how many monthly sales they were getting. The ideal product and niche to sell in are determined by a variety of factors, but today I'll only be focusing on the sales in each niche to see which products are in high demand. The first niche was toys. This was one of the bigger niches with lots of 3D printed products. It started out with the infamous Crystal Dragon which weren't bringing in much money due to lots of competition, a Hot Wheel suspension bridge with low sales, and a katana that was doing a little bit better. Then I found a dinosaur set and a mushroom dice tower that were making over a thousand dollars a month. Not bad. The most consistent products I found were fidget toys, believe it or not. They were all doing quite well despite having lots of competition, and the best product I found was a Tic Tac gun making over five thousand dollars a month. It it must be because they come in cool camo colors. The second niche was lighting. I found two lights that weren't selling well, two that were selling better, making over a thousand dollars a month, and the best light I could find was this one, making over two thousand dollars a month, which I was a bit sad about because I wanted the best selling light to be this Minecraft one because I think it looks cool. Mm -hmm. Anyways, the third niche was gag gifts. This niche had a common theme. See if you can figure it out. I'll give you a second. If you haven't figured it out by now, well then, f you. All jokes aside, these products were all making around $1,000 a month, which was impressive. I also found these toothpaste toppers that seemed to be hit or miss. The fourth niche was miniatures. There's not much to talk about here. They were all making about three to five hundred a month, except for this tabletop terrain bundle, which was making $2,500 a month. The fifth niche was everything I couldn't categorize. The general niche. There was an ammo box that was not making much money, a personal personalized keychain, Mickey Mouse Apple Watch cover, and Demon Bookmark making around $500 a month, and a crystal Xbox controller stand and Turtle Zen Garden that were doing quite well. And the best-selling product was a personalized Pokemon nameplate that was making $6,700 a month. Wow. The sixth niche was Home and Garden. This was also a big niche with lots of products that weren't making much money, but there was also products doing very well. And the best product was this cool skull planter that was making $4,700 a month. Moving into the seventh niche, we had cosplay items. Where in the world did you get that absurd looking outfit? It's the latest fashion on Planet Yardrick, but I guess it does look a little strange. But at least it's not pink. Never mind, who cares about your stupid clothes anyway? All of them were selling quite well. These three were making $1,000 plus. This headpiece was making $4,500. And the best selling product was this corrupted sword making $8,000 a month. Not bad for a plastic sword. Before we look at the last niche with the best-selling product of all, here are some honorable mentions. There wasn't much of a pet niche, but I did find this dog bowl making a thousand dollars a month. There was also this cool 3D wall shark making a thousand dollars a month, and a lower cubby drawer for a Toyota 4Runner making three thousand dollars a month. Wow. Now for the final niche with today's best-selling item, clothing and jewelry. Most jewelry I found was not making much money at all, which was surprising to me because the products looked very well made. I did, however, find these two pieces that were doing very well, but not quite as well as the best-selling product I found, which was these possum earrings making, drum roll please, $9,000 a month. Who knew people liked possum so much? The full list of products I found will be linked below, and if you want to learn how to make or find your own 3D printed products to sell without experience or lots of money, watch this video.